Last weekend, the Japanese community held a festival to showcase their culture at Dili's gymnastic hall. Artitel witnessed Fik Madeira joined people of various ages and nationalities to witness the art, music, and martial arts on display. The Japanese Festival 2024 shares the essence of Japanese culture in various aspects. At the opening, martial arts groups from the Japanese military demonstrated their talents with techniques of self-defense. The organizing committee offered a Japanese traditional garb called yukata to the Minister of Youth Sport, Art and Culture, Nelly Jack Sarmento, to try on. Japanese ambassador to Timor-Leste, Tetsuya Kimura, oversaw the running of the event. I'm uh, very pleased to organize Japan Festival Nihon Matsuri this year uh, in order to uh, enhance the exchanges of the culture between two countries. And uh, we'd like to introduce Japanese culture, uh, such as the Japanese uh, traditional uh, martial arts, Budo. And uh, I hope that uh, uh, young people would learn uh, from the, uh, such kind of activity uh, about the spirit of the Budo. Mr. Kimura also stressed the importance of sharing cultures. I think uh, it is important to learn uh, the diversity of the culture uh, through this kind of uh, festival. And the Japanese culture is uh, different uh, from the Timorese culture. But I hope that they are more interested in the different culture so that they can exchange more with other people, including uh, Japanese people. The three-hour Japanese festival was enthusiastically attended by participants who watched various demonstrations by martial arts groups showcasing Shorinji Kempo and Aikido. Even the kids were able to flex their karate skills. Minister Sarmento is eager to continue working with the Japanese embassy for future events. Today we participate to look at the uh, martial art from the Japan. Because uh, the past, last year we are talking with the uh, Japanese ambassador. We think that the uh, ambassador, please helping us. How, how we, can, we can organize the one festival involve all martial arts from Japanese. Because you know that uh, in Timor-Leste, many young people learn martial arts from Japan. In addition to the demonstration of martial arts groups, participants also joined other activities in the festival such as origami and calligraphy. <laughs> Japanese songs were presented by the UNTEL band and the Jaike band which was led by young Timorese singer Carla Nenelia Mara. Honestly, I'm nervous a little bit because this uh, event, it's my it's like my uh, first uh, performance, singing in the public, but I'm very happy because I have opportunity to show. It was a new experience for her to sing in Japanese. At first, it's hard for me because uh, the problem is mixed. I have to focus on the instrument and also I have to, um, what, uh, I have to focus also the learning the uh, language but luckily luckily i have uh, uh, japanese people to help me how to pronounce but uh, of course it's hard but if, if i uh, uh, always hearing heard the song maybe yeah it's it's easy the japanese embassy has supported various social and infrastructure projects in timor leste mm. and the japan festival 2024 was an opportunity to celebrate the friendship between the two communities. Fiki Madeira, Basti Noroina, RTTL World News.